seems that time is running backwards there. And uh, my um, hypothesis is, I have a model that it's consciousness that is uh, necessary, a conscious experience is necessary to make the time running backwards. So I don't know anything about consciousness except that it seems to be necessary to have this reversal of cause and effect. I think that about 50% of the population will uh, tell you stories, namely that they feel not well, they have some, some feeling that something is going to happen, uh, even before they can know that something is going to happen. So many people know this already, uh, but science has always been very reluctant to give up causality, because that's basically what it is. You give up causality here, it's, you can call it retro-causality, but that's a big step. Experimental physicists in general say, okay, there are two solutions, but one we don't see, uh, it, it, so it's impossible. So business is closed. Of course, theoretical physicists don't like that because they, have, they, they are addicted to their formula. And if their formula tells them there should be two solutions, then they want to know why they don't see this, this strange solution. And uh, most notably, uh, two uh, very famous physicists, Feynman and Wheeler, uh, Feynman you have probably hear, heard about, they have spent ab about a year to figure out uh, why this negative solution, the time running backward solution, didn't happen. And they came to the conclusion that it didn't happen, and, that, and then you see also the relation to consciousness, I hope, that it didn't happen because in the cosmos, the cosmos was not in equilibrium. And what was not in equilibrium was that there are many more um, coherent emitters, light emitters, like lasers multi-particle coherent light emitters, that's a quantum system, where all these particles behave as if they are one, like in a ballet, the corps de ballet, okay? There's no individuality left, everything, it's one thing. And in a laser that emits light, there's nothing similar that absorbs light. There's not what they said, there's not a multi-particle coherent absorber, but that's here. So suddenly there is this multi-particle coherent absorber, the brain uh, producing consciousness can be seen like that. And if the, those absorbers are there, then time should run backwards actually. <laughs>